Hello and welcome. Let us look at this nice question. We have 2 raised power a plus 2 raised power b plus 2 raised power c is equal to 148. And we're required to look for the values of a, b, and c. So the first thing is to multiply the left hand side of the equation by 1. So we have 1 into 2 raised to power a plus 2 raised to power b plus 2 raised to power c and that's equal to 148. The next thing is to write 1 in terms of the first term in that sum. So we're going to have, we can write 1 as 2 raised to power a over 2 raised to power a. If that is the case, then we can write the equation as 2 raised to power a over 2 raised to power a into 2 raised to power a plus 2 raised to power b plus 2 raised to power c, and that's equal to 148. So the next thing is to still write uh, the right-hand side of the equation this way. So we're going to have 2 raised to power a into 2 raised to power a over 2 raised to power a plus 2 raised to power b over 2 raised to power a plus 2 raised to power c over 2 raised to power a and that's equal to 148. So the next thing is to simplify what we have inside the bracket. So in the bracket, the first term is, is going to cancel out because we have 2 power a and 2 power a. So we're going to have 1 there. But for the second and the third, we are going to apply the third rule of indices, which says that if you have a number a, raised to power n, and you're dividing that by a number a raised to power m, then that can be written as a raised to power n minus m. So let us apply that rule and that simplification so that we are able to rewrite our equation differently. So we're going to have 2 raised to power a into 1 plus 2 raised to power b minus a plus 2 raised to power c minus a and that's equal to 148. So if that is the case, then now we have a product of two numbers that uh, equals 148. So we have a product on the left hand side. So we can also write uh, the number in the right hand side as a product of two numbers. But because the first number on the left hand side is 12 is 2, we are going to make sure that the first number in the right hand side can also be written as a base 2. So that number, we can take it to be 4. So let us use 4. So if we use 4, we have 2 raised to power a into 1 plus 2 raised to power b minus a plus 2 raised to power c minus a is equal to 4 times uh, 148 divided by 4 is 37. So at this stage, what we need to do is compare the right-hand side and the left-hand side in terms of the first and the second uh, terms. So on the left-hand side, we can compare 2 power a with 4. So if that is the case, then we have 2 power a is equal to 4. And the other one, we can take the whole of this sum as equal to 37. So that we have 1 plus 2 or b minus a plus 2 or c minus a is equal to 37. So for the first case, we can write 4 for base 2, as we said before. So we have 2 to the power a is equal to 4 can be written as 2 power 2. So these two bases are the same, that is 2 and 2. So it means the powers are also the same. So we have 
a being equal to 2. So we have the value of a as our first solution. So let us now uh, work on the other side of the, of the equation. So we can move 1 to the right hand side so that we have 1, not 1, but if we move 1 uh, to the right, we are going to have 2 power b minus a plus 2 power c minus a is equal to 37. We move 1 to the right, it becomes minus. So now, we can still simplify this equation because now we have the value of a. So we can write this as 2 plus power b minus a, but a is 2 plus 2 power c minus a and a is 2 is equal to 37 minus 1 is 36. So now we can edit the right hand side of this equation using the third law. Remember what we said, if the base is the same and we have a difference in the power, it means it was the first one over the second one. So we can write this equation as 2 power a, not power a but power b, sorry, this is 2 power b over 2 power 2 from the third law of indices plus 2 power c over 2 power 2 is equal to 36. So these, basis, these denominators are the same. We have 2 power 2 and 2 power 2. So we can combine them so that we have a common fraction. So let us do that. So it means on the right left hand side, you're going to have 2 power b plus 2 power c over 2 power 2, which is equal to 36. Remember, 2 power 2 is 4. So we can as well say that this is 2 power b plus 2 power c over 4 is equal to 36. At this stage, we just cross multiply. And when you cross multiply, we have 4 times 36, which is 144. So what we have is 2 power b plus 2 power c is equal to 4 times 36, which is 144. So at this stage again, we can rewrite the left hand side of the equation by multiplying it by 1. Remember, multiplying number by 1 does not change the original value. So we can write this as 1 into 2 power b plus 2 power c, and that's equal to 144. So we can write 1 in terms of the first term in that sum. So 1 can be written as 2 power b over 2 power b. So if that is the case, we now rewrite our equation as 2 power b over 2 power b into 2 power b plus 2 power c is equal to 144. So let us now uh, again edit uh, the left hand side of this equation. So we can say we have 2 power b into, you take this 2b into the bracket, the denominator that is, so that you have 2 power b over 2 power b plus 2 power c over 2 power b, and that's equal to 144. Now we can simplify what we have in the bracket. For the first term, that is 1 because 2 over b, 2 power b over 2 power b is 1. So we have 2, outside the bracket we have 2 power b into 1 plus, according to the third law of indices, this can be used as 2 power c minus b, and that's equal to 144. So we can now again notice that we have a product of two numbers, 
on the left hand side that is equal to 144. So we can also write 144 as a product of two numbers but we make sure that the first number in that product can be written to a base 2. So uh, the one that can be written to a base 2 uh, is 16. So we can write this 144 as you can write 144 as 16. 16 goes into 144 nine times. So let us use this. So now we have 2 power b into 1 plus 2 power c minus b is equal to 16 times 9. So again, we can compare the products in the left hand side to those in the right hand side. So the first one, that is 2 power a, can be equal to the first one in the right hand side, which is 16. And the second one, that is 1 plus 2 power c minus b, can be equal to the second one in the right hand side, which is 9. So now, we have 2 power b being equal to the first one in the right, which is 16. And we also have 1 plus 2 power c minus b is equal to 9. So if that is the case, we can now solve these two equations uh, separately. So for the first one, we have 2 power b is equal to 16. All we need to do is make sure we have common bases on either side. So we can write 16 as 2 power 4. And we see that the bases are the same, 2 and 2. So it means the powers are also the same, so that b is equal to 4. And that is our second solution. So we have the value of b2. So now we can simplify, or we can solve the other equation. That is 1 plus 2 power c minus b. And remember, we have the value of b as 4. And that's equal to... 9. So we can take 1 to the right so that we have 2 power c minus 4 is equal to 9 minus 1. So let us simplify this. What we have now is 2 power c minus 4 is equal to 9 minus 1 is 8. So we can write 8 as 2 power 3. So we have 2 power c minus 4 is equal to 2 power 3. Again, the bases are the same, 2 and 2, so it means the powers are also the same. So we have c minus 4 is equal to 3. So that c is equal to 3 plus 4, and it is now clear that the value of c is 7. So now we have our solutions for a, b, and c. So remember, we found that A was equal to 2. And we have B was equal to 4. And now we have C is now equal to 7. So we can check if these are the actual solutions to our equation. Remember, the equation was 2 power A plus 2 power B plus 2 power C is equal to 148. So let us now substitute these values back. So we have 2 power a, that is 2 power 2, plus 2 power b, that is 2 power 4, plus 2 power c, that is 2 power 7, and let us see if that is equal to 148. 2 power 2 is 4, 2 power 4 is 16, and 2 power 7 is 128. So is that equal to 48? Let us see, 4 plus 16 is 20, 20 plus 128 is actually uh, 148. So it means, therefore, that we also have 148 on the left-hand side to mean that our solutions are true.